tell both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. Here's for Dan. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up for the second half. On the floor right now for the Mavericks. Marion and Dirk make up the forwards. Carter is out there with Jason Kidd. And it's Heywood in at the five. Roaming the paint. Boy, that's a wonderful read and react play to pick that pass off. The shot by Marion. No good. The Kings trail by three. Now, here is Fredette. Feeds to Cousins. Picked up by Nowitzki. And Cousins kicks to Thornton. Stolen by Haywood. Here are the Mavericks now. Three point. Oh! How's that for finishing with flavor? Absolutely fantastic. I think he was saving that one for a special occasion. You know, looking at Vince Carter in his prime, I thought he was one of the greatest scorers and dunkers in the league. Maybe top five in both categories, but now at 34 years old, he's grounded a bit. Shot clock at six. With the clock winding down. And Hayes kicks to Honeycutt. Here's the three. Mavericks with the rebound. Talking about Vince Carter, not one to ever make excuses, but you heard through the grapevine, Steve, that his knees are starting to be a problem for him. Well, Clark mentioned his age. I mean, that's just the reality of playing in this league, particularly somebody like Vince Carter, who's a high flyer. You think about all that impact on his joints and his knees and his ankles, it takes its toll. And, you know, his days as a superstar are behind him, but Carter still with the ability uh, to be an effective player out there. Thornton passes to Fredette. Defended by Carter. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. And they've missed the first three shots of the third quarter. Now Kidd. Fredette picks him up. Kidd dishes to Carter. He's guarded by Thornton. And Vince Carter again. And it's a seven-point Maverick lead. You know, when there's little or no D on this guy and he's headed to the rim, just chalk it up and go on. Timeout called by the Kings. You know, when you think about the Kings finding a way to stay in Sacramento another year, a lot of that credit has to go to the city, their fans, some former players. How about the mayor of Sacramento, former NBA All-Star Kevin Johnson? Mm -hmm. Here's what Sacramento's going with right now. Francisco Garcia, he's checked in for Honeycutt. And Tyreek Evans subbed in for Marcus Thornton. Here's Evans. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. Uh, Kevin Johnson, you're right, uh, Clark. He was a, a terrific leader in the NBA. He's been a terrific leader in Northern California. Uh, Steve, if there's one guy that can push this through, it's probably KJ. Yeah, they still need a long-term stadium solution, Kevin, in Sacramento. But uh, give Kevin Johnson credit and also the Sacramento Kings organization for figuring out a way to keep them in the city for the time being. And let's hope they can find a long-term solution. The Kings trail by seven. Back and down is Cousins. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. Ice cold here to start the third quarter. 0 for 5 now, guys. Left side, Kid. Marion kicks to Kid. Nowitzki for 3. They get it again. Outside, Carter. The shot is off. Evans with some nice D. I think he's been fighting the shot a little bit. He's not getting many of them to drop right now. Fredette, the pass to Evans. He feeds it to Fredette. And it's Carter picking him up. Evans kicks to Garcia. The basket good off the assist from Evans. 
Brooklyn. Garcia's got his first three points of the game. Here's Kidd. He passes to Clark. And Nowitzki backs in. Shoots a fader. There's the bucket. Good. Nowitzki's got 12 in the game. Now, here is Fredette. He's covered by Kidd. Cousins against Haywood. Fires top of the key. Shot is off. And Dallas the other way. Now, unfortunately, he just has not been able to produce offensively to this point. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. That'll be a home game. And that game is the second of two straight at home. And Nowitzki backs in. Out to Marion. Puts up a three. Snatched up. Deflects the pass. Outside kid. Vince Carter on the win. Covered by Evans. Carter dishes the kid. Left side kid. Fredette picks him up. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. A chance to check out the Sacramento Kings upcoming schedule. After this one, they're off to San Antonio to take on the Spurs. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. A different look for Dallas. Mahimi's checked in, and it's Odom in for Dirk Nowitzki. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Jason Thompson, who's checked in for Cousins. Dixon comes in for Chuck Hayes. Honeycutt, he's checked in for Francisco Garcia. And Thomas subbed in for Fredette. Dixon passes to Thomas. The three. Good defense by Kidd. Mavericks leading by six. He's guarded by Thomas. Kidd kicks it to Odom. Evans picks him up. Back to Odom. Thomas against Kidd. Over Thomas. Kid, no good. And last year I thought was a tough season for Tyreek Evans. He was the reigning rookie of the year, but had a number of foot injuries, caused him to miss almost 30 games. And when he did play, he struggled with his shot, only 42% from the field. Kid kicks to Carter. And a great assist by Kid as that one goes in. Nine points for Vince Carter. And Steve, you know it's always tough when you're dealing with injuries, but I think also when you've been the rookie of the year and you come into that second year, teams are geared up to make you do things you're not comfortable doing. But I think more than anything, it was the injuries that set Tyreek Evans back a bit. Thompson backing down. Odom with the double team. They get the rebound. Evans against Odom. And here is Thomas. He's picked up by Kidd. Second chance shot. Offensive rebound. He kicks to Thompson. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off the shot before second violation. So both teams changing it up here. 124 left here in the third quarter. Terry kicks to Nowitzki. Pass to Odom. Nowitzki with the screen on Hickson. Thornton against Carter. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Well, an illegal screen is one of the toughest calls for the official to make. You know, I agree with you. You've got to have some sympathy for the referees when they have to make calls like that. But they get paid well, and they're the best in the business, so they can handle it. Here's Thompson, and the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Nowitzki's got seven rebounds in the game. And I think whichever team starts to dominate the glass could really take control of this game. I won't disagree with you. I mean, it's so tight between teams right now on the board that um, you're just waiting to see which team might pull away. Just four to shoot. Here's Terry. 
The rebound by Thompson. The Kings trail by five. Shot and game clock separated by five. Thomas with the ball. The pass to Thompson. He's against Nowitzki. Thompson against Nowitzki. Shot to end this cold run. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. These teams were last season's best passers. The squads with the most assists in the NBA. Second, the Mavericks. Yeah, wonderful passing team. And it was the kind of basketball that fans love to watch. Very unselfish. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. He wants to make a few adjustments out there. And he's running through those with his team right now. Here's Terry. Got it off in time. Oh, he got it. Oh, buzzer. Knock it down. <laughs> right at the horn. Oh, what a big shot to close out the quarter. They're going to the fourth with a little momentum now. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been a fun game to watch. It's been quite a game for Turk Nowitzki. Well, we know he can score, so it's not really a huge shock to see him put up these kind of big numbers and I would think that he most likely will continue to carry on this kind of play into the fourth Mavericks ahead 